today's experiment is to try to use the Basher Free Energy Space Time Antenna, I'm calling it the Basher Coil for short, in a traditional Joule Thief circuit. Um, so this is the circuit that I've uh, come up with. Um, there, uh, the Basher Coil has sort of two cones, two interpenetrating cones in terms of the coils. So they could be used as a transformer and a Joule Thief. And um, I played around with different tra transistors. I wanted to pump more current and go for higher voltage. So I'm using a TIP31 and uh, having a potentiometer, uh, a 10K pot here to the base of the transistor uh, allows you to kind of dial around and pick different frequencies, uh, which will give a different voltage on the output. Um, the output would be between the collector and the emitter. You could put an LED or several LEDs in series. The voltage here is going to be really high uh, depending on your battery. Um, you can use a battery uh, anywhere from 1.5 to 6 volts, say. If you, if you go for a higher voltage, like 12 volts, you'll have to recompute uh, the value of this um, pot. Uh, you'll have to go like 20K or 30K or something. Um, so that you don't pump too much current through this transistor and make, uh, make it hot. Um, so this is a very simple circuit and it works. Uh, it took me a little while to figure out the phase. Uh, I assumed the opposite phase in terms of this as a transformer and nothing happened. Um, and I was scratching my head and then I just tried the opposite phase uh, with the plus from the battery going to the base of both cones in terms of polarity and that seemed to work. Uh, so let me show you that now. So here's my messy breadboard. I've got a 1.5 volt battery. I've got a potentiometer. Um, a tip 31. Uh, and here's the coil hooked up to the circuit. And there's the LED and it's lighting. Um, if I take the pot here and dial around, uh, I can make the LED dimmer or brighter. Which, and what it really is doing is controlling a duty cycle in terms of the pulse. Um, and so uh, when it's brighter, there's a more of a, um, you're approaching more of a sine wave. And when it's uh, dimmer, you have a very narrow pulse. Okay, and I'll show you what that looks like on the scope. Here's the waveform on the scope. If, as I change the pot, um, frequency changes. Now, the, you only see sort of the ha half wave because uh, an LED, um, the scope is looking across the LED, and the LED is a diode, so it's half wave rectifying. Uh, now I'm going to make a change here so that the diode is not shorting out across the emitter and collector. And now we can look at the voltages on the scope just across uh, the emitter and the collector here. I have to uh, change the scale. Um, so I'm on 10 volts per division. So I'm going to adjust this down a little bit. Um, so as I, as I go to a lower frequency, the voltage uh, goes up. But of course, the duty cycle gets some more narrow. Um, so this is at 50 volts per division. It's about two and a half divisions. So that's like 120 volt spikes, um, which is exciting because that is, you know, where you could light a neon or a fluorescent. However, uh, the duty cycle is so narrow that uh, it would, be, it would be quite dim. Um, but anyway, um, this is a proof of concept that the basher coil can be used like a transformer in a Jewel Thief circuit.